Virgo, hey y'all, how are y'all doing? You've reached Southern Intuition, and this is going to be an energy read for the month of March of 2022. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate, but I do believe that everything connects eventually, and if it is your message to hear, then you'll do so. And then please like, share, and subscribe. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's so damn heavy. How much more? How much more? How much longer? When will we get there? When will we get there? You fixing to? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to make a choice, but... Ooh, beautiful. All right. Virgo, your underlying energy here is out of the Four of Swords, so th there's healing. Uh, you could be taking a break from a situation. I don't know. Um, there's someone you're not talking to, or I don't know. There's some sort of energy here of healing. Um, I mean, it could be that you're stuck in a rut. Um, and you need to pull yourself out, or it could also be that someone else is stuck in a rut. And they may not even have plans to change. So as you're sitting here and you're trudging along, starting off this reading with the Ten of Wands crossed by the world, this cycle here where you've been closed off and not speaking to someone or, or going through this healing process, it's about over. It's about done. Uh, your focus here is the lovers. This is a relationship. This is a choice. It's a, it's a beautiful connection here. And that could have ended here in the recent past of the Ten of Swords. And that's why it's so heavy. You know, that energy is still here with you. The pain, the grief of it. But look at you up here in your strength, the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, look, you've freed yourself from this. Um, you have independence now. And it feels good, right? In the immediate future, it's like, which way? This way, that way, left way, sideways, wrong ways. Which way? This way or that way? Oh, sometimes you just got to pick a direction and get going. But the opportunity to go full steam ahead in one way or the other, that's your path to your future and it's coming. Supporting the reading is the sun. Happiness. That's where you're heading, right? That's where you want to go. You don't want to go back towards this. Um, I think I can. I think I can. No, I, maybe I can't. Yeah, I mean, no, you want happiness. What you may not be aware of is this hermit energy. And that also goes well with the Four of Swords of, you know, just kind of stopping and listening. You know, as you, as you come to this crossroads and you're like, I don't know which way to go here. Go within. Go within and kind of ask yourself, like, where do I want to go? Which, which direction do I want to take here? Um, hope or fear position of Four of Cups. Like, yeah. It's like, is that the best you can do? You know, like uh, maybe if you wait around long enough, something better will come along. You're afraid maybe to move in one way or the other because you might miss out on something here. I don't know. Uh, the outcome, the Ten of Pentacles. Um, over the rainbow and through the roof. <laughs> to the roof. <laughs> through the woods. To Grandma's house we go. Stability, long term. Uh, definitely a cycle here is coming to a close. I definitely feel like there's something ending here, and I, I really think that you're the one making that choice to make it happen. Let's see what the moon has. Yeah, your dreams need a practical plan. Your hard work is definitely paying off. Good, because you've been sitting here pushing through this. Show the world the real you. Look at that. Like, you know. You, you're showing up here even in your reading, Virgo, the Hermit. You're showing up here. You just need a practical plan. Like, okay, you know you can see that Ten of Pentacles. So how are you going to get there? Oh, you're dealing with the romance of a lifetime and even romantic feelings that are real. So you need to let your friends help you. This could be a new love. Huh. Yeah, I feel like there is a new love here because this old love ended. Yep, retreated from that, Four of Swords. Could have been a marriage. Huh. Interesting. 
I don't know, there's someone from your past. You know, hey, that's on you, Virgo. You would know. But whatever this is, I mean, it definitely feels good, this romance, these feelings. I just don't think you know how to really go about the situation. And you just want happiness. An abundance, right? And the wisdom here to learn that, to know. Like you are just scratching the backboard here of the universe with the knowledge that you've received. You've been definitely through it. I mean, because look at that with that ten of wands, you know, you, you're you're hustling through there. Souls that belong together will always find a way to be together. Be mindful of that. Don't give up on something that you really want. And I believe you're wanting that nine of pentacles and you're pushing and you're getting to the ten. And that's what's beautiful here, Virgo. So, you know, hey. You're resilient. Look at that. That same card. Resilience, yes. You'll find them. You'll get you'll make your way back to this. Don't give up. Don't give up. And good luck with that.